Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Come on, somebody, always give him praise and give him glory. It does not matter. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So um, today is day nine. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, of the 14th day full liquid fast. I have a dust saith the Lord to everyone. Now listen to me. This, this is for the people that are on the fast, but it doesn't mean just because you're not fasting that God is not going to bless you. Because you know how some people know, just listen and very carefully. Okay. Thus saith the Lord, everybody that is actually on this 14 day fast, listen to me very clearly. God say that this is not just a fast. Some of you have went on it for various reasons. Let's be honest. But God said he's going to move like you ain't never seen before. Come on, somebody. I feel the power of God. He said, this is the shift of your life. This is the shift of your dimension. This is the shift of your anointing. This is the shift of your destiny. This is the shift. Hallelujah. Because 2020, things going to happen. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. I feel the power of God. I feel the power of God. Hallelujah. So let me continue. He says, so that's what the fight's been about. The enemy has been fighting you because here's the deal. Here's the whole matter. Thus saith the Lord. Now let me get into the message because that was it. But this is connected to that. God connects everything. If it's not in order, it ain't God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God said, Deanna, he said, don't you understand and don't they see the time, the signs of the time? Y'all know what time it is? This is what time it is. Which army do you belong in? Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all know I clap in a hot minute. I love the Lord. Okay. Um, I want to read a scripture. My scripture for today will be, well, one of them will be Matthew 6, 24. And it says, I'm coming out the King James. All right. It says, no man can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he would hold on to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. And some, to be honest with you, in all the rest of the versions, and I have them all here, it says money. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. Let me tell you something. And I got to walk this thing out. Which side are you off? Of? Don't, don't stop playing that game now. Because I'm going to tell you, I was going through Facebook yesterday and it, it tripped me out. I'm not even going to say the guy's name because I don't even know him pretty much. And he said, oh, I thank God for having another birthday. And then all of a sudden he cursed in the same sense. He's not the only one. Christians do it all the time. Oh, I'm going to break that thing down. You might not like me today, but who cares, right? Let me tell y'all something. God is tired of the perpetrating people. The land, the line is being drawn in this hour. People know who you are. You, can, you can't hide. You can't front. You can't lie. You, you, you can, but the spirit of truth is so heavy on the earth that we see you. We see you. And, 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 hallelujah. God said, which side are you on? And, and let me tell you the whole matter what God was saying this morning. Praise God. He said, Deanna, why do you think evil is rising? Just like God is building up his army, Satan is building up his army, and it should be the battle. Hallelujah. And guess who going to win? No, 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 no. Hold on. Walk with me. They're going to look like they're winning. Look what's happening. Look like they're winning, huh? Oh, but hallelujah. The Bible says, and my God says, we win in the end. Write that in the comments. We win in the end. So Satan, I don't care what you do, you and your little cohorts, because y'all don't understand what's happening. A lot of you are so emotional doing all this killing that they're doing. You understand that some of these things, I'm going to have to say it like it is, some of these things that are killing people are demons. Demons have no soul. All right. When you are possessed, guess what? You cannot feel your soul. You cannot feel emotions when you are possessed. Why do you think people can be so cold and murder? You cannot murder nobody if you have the spirit of God. The devil is a lie. Hallelujah. I'm going somewhere with this. That's why y'all see so much murder and mayhem. God said he's building up his army and so is God building up a remnant. I'm going to say then God is building up a remnant. Not everybody that say, Lord, Lord is of God. Because if that was the truth, we wouldn't have the topsy-turvy churches that we have today. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going to walk this thing out. God says that so in the beginning, so is in the end. Pharisees and Sadducees. I'm going to go ahead. I always have a testimony and I keep sharing because that's what we're supposed to do. I'm supposed to help the body of Christ with my testimony and truth. Come on, somebody call it TNT. Powerful, right? Hallelujah. You know, when I was growing up in the ministry from 27 to about 41, 
they tried to, and, and I'm not kidding, mainstream tried to, because they, they they all knew I had the gift. Oh my God, they knew, they knew. And they were trying to, they were trying to get me and, and conform me and God wouldn't let them. And I'm not going to lie. I got mad because I was like, God, you don't want me to be known. You don't want me to do this. I wasn't going that way. And I had to understand that because, oh, I'm going somewhere. Walk with me. That's a lot of your problem. You so busy wanting to be known until you, 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 you want to connect with them and not him. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But I found out the secret. Come closer. Let me tell you. The true connection is with him and not them. They can't anoint you, honey. They can't save you, honey. They can't protect you, honey. Oh, hallelujah to his name. Y'all better understand what time it is. The world has this, this false facade. The enemy that came in the world and he got a false facade. He's doing the same thing he did to Jesus. If you fall down and worship me, I'll give you what you, what you want. What you want, a man, a woman, both, money, cause, fame. And now you got Christians. Oh, I'm going to work this thing out like God told me to. Because he talked to me. Since we've been on this fast, he's always talking, but it's been so heavy. Y'all don't see it. I probably look tired and I, he, he's been. And, and, I, and I accept it because I know my portion. I know who I am in God. God said, Deanna, this has been since the beginning of time. He's always tried to take my children from me. Hold on. What did he do in heaven? He took one third of the angels. Are y'all understanding what's happening as it is in heaven, as it is on earth? Y'all understand what's happening? So he offers you a false facade, not knowing and not telling you that if you take that money, you might lose a family member. You might go crazy, i.e. Britney Spears. Y'all don't see what happened to her? Y'all ain't ready for me. And I'm not trying to bash people. I'm trying to open your eyes. Come on, somebody. The spirit. Come on, some. The spirit of truth is real. Hallelujah to his name. So let me walk this thing out. So he said, Deanna, it started back in the day. And I'm going to call a few names. And I'm from Louisiana. It don't matter. Dr. Leroy Thompson. I pray that man repent. He started a movement. Money coming to me now. That don't act like y'all don't remember. If you don't remember it, go Google him. And he wasn't the only one. It was a lot of them. They started that money movement. Christians ain't supposed to be poor. Christians ain't supposed to be this. And so now everybody started. Remember they used to wear the robes, which we are required to wear. I try to get out of myself and then God to put me right back in it. And it's not a robe per se. This, this is a robe, but it's a teaching robe. I have a real robe. But he said, I don't want people to see you, Deanna. They don't need to see your body. They don't need to see. Y'all ain't ready for me today. Y'all sitting up there. I'm going to peel this onion backwards. So let me slow down because they get excited because truth is truth. So he said, Deanna, they came in with the prosperity message. And what they did is they brought in the suits and they started business as usual. It, it wasn't church no more. It wasn't ministry no more. It's business now. That's why we have business deals going wrong. That's why flesh can come in. Because when, let me tell you something what God told me. And I'm very serious about the robes. He said, when I gave them the robes, which I never told them to stop wearing. What happened is I put my presence on the robe. That's why when you looked at him in the robe, you say, oh, that's a man. That's a woman of God. But now that you look at him in their suits and their attire, you got Christian. Walk with me. I, I want y'all to see the truth. Now you're looking at pa Pastor. Oh, Pastor, fine. You're looking at Missy Missy because she preaching, but her breasts and everything's so tight. Oh, she fine. Come on, somebody. I'm, I'm going to walk a little slower. You want me to walk a little slower? So anyway, so now lust started entering in because now y'all didn't remove the holy garments. Didn't he say the garment of praise? So hold on. If he give you a garment of praise, how much more a physical garment to protect your body from lust and other evils? Come on, somebody. I'm going to walk it out. Don't worry. I'm going to walk it out. Just hang in there with me. So long story short, after that happened, God says, then people stop taking it serious. They stop taking church serious. So now we start allowing everybody, because once you start dressing, thank you, Lord, the most powerful spirit, I'm teaching this morning, I'm not preaching, the most powerful spirit, or this afternoon, brother, the most powerful spirit on earth is lust. It's the most powerful spirit, lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh. Oh, don't act like y'all don't know it. Don't act like y'all don't know it. So when lust entered in, Therefore, the cousin come. Greed, money, business. Not a church in trouble now. Now the church have lost the standards. And when you lose the foundation, anything goes. That's what you have today. A mess, not a message. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So now 
this is what is happening. If you don't have a mega ministry, if you don't drive a Bentley, if you don't have a $2.5 million house, well, well, you're not blessed of God. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar because I'm going to say some hard things and y'all get mad anyway, so it really don't matter. Where's the anointing then? If they have all that, tell me where's the anointing. How is it that they're not laying hands? Y'all go to New Bird, Jamal. Uh, yeah, I'm saying Jamal. After God tells me about you, you are no longer, unless you go back and repent. Okay? That's how it goes. Okay, let me finish. When the last time y'all saw them lay hands? People hurt. So when people come to church, they don't want to just, uh, 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 that's what y'all are doing, a good message. And, ooh, excitement is fleshly. People are hurting. When the last time y'all form lines and say, everybody that's, that's in need of a blessing or a healing deliverance, come up. No, because y'all too busy. Fast food churches. And get them in, get them out. Get them in, get them out. And hold on. They don't want y'all saved. Because if y'all truly start searching for the word of God and the spirit of God, y'all sit back and then wisdom and discernment will set in. And then as soon as y'all sit, y'all be like, wait a minute. That ain't God. So they don't want y'all to... I better, I'm better. i going to walk this thing out. So now the devil have come into the church, which that was always his thing. If you notice, if you look at the world news, don't it always come back to religion? <laughs> Y'all still haven't figured that out? You have got comfortable in a world system, and that's what's happening. You're not consistent, said the Lord. One minute you love God, the next minute you're cursing. One minute you want to be in church, the next minute you want to be with, with Pookie them. The one minute you want to be a child of God, the next minute you want to be something else. You cannot serve two, said the Lord. Stop mixing holy with unholy, said God, and then you have demon possessed. That's why you're acting crazy. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm just being real. I ain't got time to play games because I'm going to tell you what's the heart of God souls can i tell you something god don't care what you wear god don't care what you drive god don't care what address you are at come on somebody you know what god care about are you teaching my people my word as i've commanded for a thousand generations are you being real with my people are you deceiving my people y'all ain't ready for me or are you fleecing off my sheep i.e sleeping with them conning them Playing with their mind, not telling them that martial law coming, not telling them new world order coming. You know why they can't tell y'all? Because 5013 C's they implement it in, in the in the program. They can't talk about gays and they can't talk about what's to come. As a matter of fact, they know it. You know what they're supposed to do? Be prepared to accept y'all. And to be honest with you, if martial law go down while you're in church, they're locking them doors. Y'all ain't got, you know, one thing I've learned, and that's why it's so easy for me to be who I am. I don't have to convince nobody. And I'm not. Uh, and trust me, when I first became who I am, it's like, oh, people ain't going to believe me. You know who I am, what I used to do. You know who I used to be. <laughs> Whatever the case may be, you know what he told me? He said, that's not your job. He said, your job is just to deliver the message. It's my job to make sure whatever else happens after that. So what am I saying? You ain't got to believe me. You know what I asked though? Keep it before you in your mind. So when it happened, you'll say, I was told. That's my job. That's all God told me to do. End of story. Hallelujah to his name. And y'all playing. Y'all playing. This is not the time to play. Not time. I keep hearing God say, my son coming. My son coming. My son. Remember, Jesus don't even know. Because Jesus loves us so much. Jesus will tell. Jesus be like, you know what I'm saying? So God only knows. This stuff is real. This stuff is real. So I suggest that you make a conscious decision. God, I'm going to stop playing with you. I'm going to get real. I'm going to start going to the club Friday night and be in church Sunday night, sometimes with the same dress. I'm going to stop sleeping with Robert and Rebecca. I'm going to stop sinning and fornicating. I'm going to stop lying. I'm going to stop running after money because that's, that's what's taking most of y'all right there. Most of y'all are working two or three jobs. God never told you to do that, but you're trying to keep it with everybody because the world system, I keep saying this for a reason because I'm trying to get it to you, penetrate to your spirit. The world system is coming and say, if you ain't got nothing, then you are nothing. The devil is a lie. Why did Jesus fashion himself? 
he, I mean, it, it seems as though he was showing us a pattern here, but not only that he was showing us how it's going to get done. He said, the, the son of man ain't, don't even have a place to lay his head. He said, I made myself of no reputation. He was telling us what they was going to do. Oh, uh oh, my God, my God. I, I got to come up on here and do two more. It is going to trip y'all out because he's been just talking to me. I look tired. I am tired. I go lie. Prophets, true prophets, we don't have no sleep pattern. We barely sleep. Now, when we do, we do. Now, we sleep good. Hey, but when God be speaking to us, we be like, yes, Lord, I hear you. I love you. I'm just being honest. That's for the true prophets. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. God bless you. So this is for the people on the fast and even those that are not because the word is the word is the word. But the dust said the Lord. That was for the people on the fast. God said, your life will never be the same. You thought you were just fasting, huh? You thought you were just losing weight. Huh? I'm going I'm to I'm get a little cute, girl. I'm going to get cute. Yeah, I'm, for the men, I'm going to get muscular, whatever. God is about to rock your world. God is about to change your life. <laughs> he just needed to get to where you could hear. See, when you're fasting, your flesh be like, Rrr. but your spirit is like, yes. Get closer. Come closer. Come higher. Learn of me. Know me. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Walk in love. Yeah, I know what they're doing, but don't look at that. Stay focused on me. The Bible says those that keep their mind on me, I'll keep them in perfect peace. You ain't got no peace? Get close to God. You upset? Get close to God. You got a problem? Get close to God. Come on, somebody, I just said something. Y'all going Y'all going to the doctors. Y'all on everything is propaganda. I'm looking at it, just driving that mental health stuff. Y'all don't know this day? Everything is propaganda, and they're driving it on purpose. You guys, that New World One Order is coming, New World Order and One Religion. And I pray for every last one of you. I pray that you're strong enough, because you see, I'm going to be honest with you. We was out there. We was gully, huh? We was like, I mean, but now, when that stuff comes, Gonna find out who you really are and who you really are. One thing I, I need to tell y'all, y'all need to really download pureflex.com or actually join. It's just like Netflix. It's the opposite. It has a lot of more faith-based, which I really, I love it. I love it. And some of my favorite movies are Devonition. If you want to know how they talk to y'all, I'm telling you, it'll change your life. Um, secondly, The New World Order. I'm going to tell you the movie, but the last part, really, it was so real. The one that had been through the whole movie. Oh, I love God. I'll never take the, I'll never take the mark. End up taking the mark. And the one that they counted out, the, the one her friend that was scared, is the one that didn't. I just said something. So who you think real, fake, fake, fake. And who you think fake might be real. I just said something. I ain't got time for that foolishness. But only you know about the spirit and the wisdom of God. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I'm going to um, take a 10 minute break, but I'm coming back up on here. Just said the Lord. So God bless you. God keep you. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. It's not just about a fast. It's about a lifestyle. He's changing us. Come on, somebody. So this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Rule our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless. <laughs>